Thanks for joining me. This is Tony with Earth Files Earth History, and we're going to be examining an image of a super megalithic structure that was found in Greenland. I believe that this image was classified and accidentally released as a link to IEEE database. Now, IEEE database has over 5.1 million documents from scientists and electronic and electrical engineers. So what may have happened is the same people that wrote the abstract on the VHF radar sounders were possibly the ones that analyzed this image. And whenever they um, downloaded this information as an abstract into this database, the image that they were analyzing was accidentally attached as a link to this abstract. This image that was used as a link to get to this abstract in this PDF does mention Greenland. And of course, that's all I had to go by, so I can only assume that this structure was found in Greenland. Now, in our first enlargement, you can already see that these are structures, perfect 90 degree degrees, perfect straight edges. And this structure is in three sections. So the first section here, the second, and of course the third one you can hardly see because of the ossification. Look at the scale, 18 kilometers, which is approximately 11 miles. So this structure is about 15 miles wide and about 20 miles long. The wall alone is probably about six miles wide, which means the supports for this structure is huge. They're what, six or seven miles wide through here. You can see where they were tied together by these center supports. And then, of course, over time, they deteriorated and separated. Then there was something attached to this support or whatever this was. It's cone-shaped. And when it fell, there was something attached to it and fell over the wall and down into this other section. So that's the reason it looks like a fracture on the wall, but it's not. Now, the reason that I believe that this was classified is you can see where they went in and analyzed it. You can see this light orangey red line here that they circle, and then there's something that they found they circled here. I'm sure that the reason that they did an overhead shot was, well, actually probably several reasons. One, to be able to look down into it and maybe find a way to get down into this structure to explore it. Now, when I enhanced it, my suspicion was that the reason that there was a circle drawn around this area was to cover up some type of mapping or marking um, that they did. And actually, that's what happened. You can see before the circle was drawn, that underneath the circle, they marked these no nodules and analyzed them. There was just something about this particular area that they were um, completely interested in. So they marked it finished analyzing it, and then marked over it so you couldn't see it in case this image was accidentally released. And then here it is. The pinkish part is where they mapped it, and then they drew this line over it. It looks or appears to be what they were marking if you look right here, you can't see it real clear, but it's a nodule. If you look right here, you see this dark area. 
that goes right into this and this right here, they electronically airbrush this out for whatever reason. And you can also tell because there's a straight edge here and here. So whatever was attached to whatever this was, I guess the structure, when it collapsed and fell into these openings, they had these nodules on it. And then when I brightened it, you can see um, the structure or the edges of the structures a lot better. It almost looks like they're, they are connected, but they're stair-stepped down. And then again, you can see the ossification that was done over um, whatever was there that they didn't want us to see. And then you can see the ossification again really clear and how it fell into this. These structures, they're going to, they have found structures, I presume, in almost uh, every area that there's glaciers around this planet. That's how big this civilization was and how spread out it was. I am doing some mapping right now, and it appears that these were built at the time that our landmass was in a Pangaea state. And I speculate that the reason that they're not telling us about these structures is because there's something about these structures or something is attached to these structures. They don't want, to, want us to know. And I think it, it has something to do with something evil and it would be very unnerving and they don't want to get into this subject. The reason that I said that is because not too long ago, I released a video called The Bible Reveals the Truth About in Antarctica. And in the video, I go in into Genesis and the major prophets where they explain that this nation was ruled by Lucifer and he corrupted it. And then eventually there was a worldwide flood that wiped out his nation that was caused by water coming from under the ground. So there's no telling what's in these structures. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up and please subscribe. This is Tony with Earth Files Earth History signing out.